I was born and raised in Las Vegas. Um, my dad was an uh, atheist. My mom was starting to get into new age uh, culture and stuff. And she always had like psychic friends and stuff. And so I grew up in that, that culture of just a very worldly experience since I didn't have Christian background. I did accept Christ when I was little because I was in a Christian elementary school, but I never really followed him and knew how to follow him or anything besides Jesus is heaven. Like, <laughs> that's the end goal. My dad, because of his work, he was very overly stressed, like workaholic. Like, he, all he cared about was money. And so he had very high expectations on us kids. During this time frame, my parents actually got divorced. I started rebelling and by smoking, then drinking, following whatever my friend did. I did psychedelics, I did um, anything to just kind of escape, try to like live my own life and rebel. Um, and even my friend when I was 16, my best friend, he was gay, he uh, was a Satanist. So he was into Wicca and all that stuff and we were into witches together, go to psychic shops, like all that sort of witchy things just to kind of like feel something because we're naturally spiritual beings so like I was just looking for anything of the world. So when I was 16 at a music festival I was approached by a modeling agency and um, I ended up accepting and so I did local modeling in Las Vegas and then because of just wanting to escape I ended up moving to New York and started modeling there and with modeling there, it was just a very cutthroat industry. We were all compared. I thought I was fat, I thought I was ugly, I thought I was, I was always comparing myself to other people. And one time I um, was sitting in the makeup chair at the job and I had like under eyes and there it was a makeup artist doing my makeup and one of the makeup artists was like, wow, you would be perfect if it weren't for your under eye bags. And this other uh, person, my scouting agent, pointed at my butt, which I didn't have a butt, but it was just like my hips. He was like, you need to run an hour a day to keep your figure. And I, I almost had a Calvin Klein deal as well. But when I had surgery, so I gained a little bit of weight the next season I went out, and he measured around my hips. And they were like, oh, you're bigger than your comp card. You're a half an inch bigger. And my agency got really mad at me. And so because I couldn't live up to their expectations, I was just like ready to quit. I, I just didn't want to be there anymore. So I started looking into colleges because I was just looking for anything. I was so depressed. I was just wanting something to control and to feel like I could obtain and stuff. So I was interested at that time in marine biology zoology and film and out of all the schools in America the only college that had all three was PBA so I packed up my whole all my stuff and I just moved to PBA so I was living at the party side of PBA hating all the PBA rules like thinking it was all very religious and very just like rules based and I didn't like it and I was still sleeping around partying drinking and I just felt super empty and a lot of my friends that were Christian on the honor side, they all felt like they had everything under control, like they felt like they had light in them. And I would just always like compare myself to that and wonder what I was missing. My roommate um, and my uh, honors friends, the ones I was living that double life with, they stepped in and they just pursued relationship with me, even though I was like, like such a fraud, they kept pursuing relationship with me because I was just like, Lord, if you're real, if you're out there and you want, if you want me just as much as people say you do, then just come in and change my life and make me feel better because I can't do it myself. Um, and so after that, I just gave my life to Christ. It was just amazing. And I just wanted to give up everything for Christ. The, um, the Lord took away my passion for film and he was just, just, after being a Christian, he just started tearing down my idols. I like grew up in, in wealth. I've traveled all around the world. I've tasted expensive food. I've been at the peak of modeling in New York. I was with the top 10, one of the top 10 agencies of New York. I partied in LA. I've done drugs. I've had sex, like all this stuff of the world and none of it satisfies. And I've tasted and seen that the Lord is the only thing that truly satisfied, truly gives all joy, all peace, 
all comfort, all love. Only thing I can give to Christ is my love and my adoration. And so with that, that comes the childlike joy and the stress of, of the world um, of trying to live up to expectations I'm putting myself. That falls away, and it's just, it's just Jesus. It's just his heart, and that's all I want. Um, it's, just, it's just the Lord's heart and to know him.